Hello, my name is Owen Atkinson from Dairy Veterinary Consultancy. I'm here today on a 200 cow dairy herd to talk about body condition scoring using the Penn State method. I've been asked by Alanco as this is a very important part of transition cow management. A very quick but imprecise ready reckoner for body condition scoring is just to focus on the fat covering over the pin bones here. Pinching the skin over the pin bones, a cow with body condition score one has a very thin skin, a little bit like pinching the back of the hand. A cow with body condition score two has a little bit of a thicker pinch of skin, a little bit like pinching the skin on your forearm. A cow with body condition score three has a clear fat pad beneath the skin, a little bit like pinching the, uh, the skin of your cheeks. Whereas a fat cow who has an obvious fat pad on the uh, skin over the pins, is a little bit like pinching the belly. The Penn State method allows us to score body condition score very precisely. Body condition score is a five point score, one to five. One is very thin, five is very fat. But using this method, we can score the middle scores between two and four using a 0.25 um, increment. So we could go two, 2.25, 2.5, 2.75, three, etc. And this allows us to be far more accurate Remember, the ideal body condition scoring for Holstein cows at calving is between two and a half and three and a half. Ensuring the right body condition score at calving is a key success factor for transition cow management. The process is following a decision flow chart which is outlined on this um, card here. The starting point is standing slightly at the rear of the cow and slightly to the right, looking at the angle between the pin bone here, the point of the thurl here, and the hook bone here. Is this a clear V, or is it a more shallow U, as in this cow, where the thurl is less clear? If it's a U, as in this cow, the body condition score is above three. Moving towards the back of the cow, I'm going to focus on the fat covering over the tail head ligament here and the sacral ligament here. On this cow, both ligaments can clearly be seen and there isn't a great fat covering. This makes this cow a body condition score 3.25. 3.25 is at the upper end of the ideal body condition score for cows coming up to calving. In addition, we can see that the hook bone, as viewed from behind, has a very rounded profile as opposed to an angular profile. This also makes the cow a body condition score 3 or above. Looking at the body condition score of this cow, we can see the angle between the pin, the thurl, and the hook bone is a much clearer V. The thurl is quite obvious. So that makes this cow a body condition score 3 or below. We now move to the back of the cow. This cow has an angular profile to her hook bone. This means that she is below a body condition score three. Looking at the fat covering over the pin bones, there is a very slight fat pad. This cow is a body condition score two and a half. She is at the lower end of the ideal body condition score for a cow at the point of calving. We don't want cows any thinner than body condition score two and a half. They are at an increased risk of post-calving difficulties and lameness later on in lactation. This cow is a body condition score two and a half, which is at the bottom end of our target body condition score for cows before calving. She's a two and a half because she has a clear V angle between the pin, the thurl and the hook bones. Moving towards the back of the cow, she has an angular profile to her hook bone. She doesn't have a visible fat pad on her pin bones, but she does have a palpable fat pad. And looking at her transverse processes, you cannot see the bones, and you cannot see the bones of her spine. This pre-carving cow is body condition score 3.5, which is towards the top end of our target body condition score for pre-carving Holstein cows. She's condition score 3.5 because she has a U angle between the pin bone, the thurl, and the hook bone. She has a fat covering on her tail head and sacral ligaments, although both ligaments can still be seen.